Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is renewing his efforts to ban daytime camping within city limits. During tomorrow afternoon's city council session, the mayor will propose a revised version of his place, time, and manner ordinance that has been held up in the courts since last summer. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy looked into <clears throat> what is changing and joins us now live from City Hall with the details. Connor? Well, Pete and Riel, uh, the mayor is confident that this new revised ordinance will hold up in court. And despite the lack of clarity from the court about why the initial daytime camping ban violated House Bill 3115, the mayor says that the law provides more clarity and also reduces criminal penalties for those who violate the law. It's another attempt to ban unsanctioned camping during the day in the city of Portland. After the initial law was blocked by a Multnomah County judge last year. One has to assume that the courts believed that we were too aggressive in terms of establishing our time, place and manner restrictions. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says the revised version will be in line with House Bill 3115, which requires a city or county to provide an adequate number of shelter beds if they choose to regulate camping on public property. The mayor says there is more clarification on the definition of camping and what options the unhoused community has for shelters and what happens if they refuse to take the shelter. My ordinance includes diversion. So what we do is we offer carrots and if the carrots are offered and rejected, then we still have the stick in terms of enforcement and the maintenance of our public right-of-ways. Those in violation could receive a $100 fine or a week-long stay in jail. The mayor says that this punishment is a reduced version of the initial ordinance. What we envision is that we offer people shelter or assistance. If that shelter or assistance is not available, in other words, we don't have adequate shelter, people would still be required to abide by the manner restrictions listed in this ordinance. At the Union Gospel Mission in Old Town, Executive Director Matt Stein welcomes a daytime camping ban. He says this will help encourage the city to build more shelter space and encourage the unhoused community to get the help they need. A camping ban is a moment that they can see, gosh, you know, we've got to make some changes. We know that the housed student community, the housed neighbors that they have um, are in a place of frustration and, and many living on the streets are in some difficult spots. So what can we we do to move them forward, we can look to get them in shelter. The city says that they are in the process of building two more large-scale alternative shelter sites. This new ordinance is also up for debate as the United States Supreme Court debates the constitutionality of cities and counties banning camping in public spaces. Wheeler says if the federal law changes, it will impact this ordinance. Even if Martin v. Boise is overturned by the Supreme Court, it goes back to the states. Here in the state of Oregon a couple of years ago, the legislature passed House Bill 3115. We are still subject to that state statute. Now, three city commissioners have also proposed amendments to be discussed tomorrow during the afternoon city council meeting. And the mayor hopes to pass this ordinance and put it into place as soon as possible. But for now, reporting live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. Connor, thank you. Uh